and welcome to my channel. I am Stephanie and this is the a week 16 wrap up March. Nope. April the 14th through the 20th and it is also day 21 for Veda video every day in April. said this is the weekly wrap up oh my gosh spring break is over and I have no clue what the hell I got done because I only got three books read but I'm gonna give it to you guys today and um yeah I did get a whole bunch of videos done recorded pre-recorded for you guys yesterday but that doesn't account for the rest of the week um actually it does oh yes this is what happened this week for spring break I went to work one day then I came home and I had a new roof I got new furniture and it has just been super crazy but Veda has been going great I am down to like one video that I'll have to do to pre-record well actually I won't be able to pre-record it because it's a weekly wrap-up so that'll be the only video that I have out there to record on its date and I am so off topic let's get to the books that I read last week and uh, it's few and far between but it's three of them so here we go the first book that I finished last week which was on Friday was picture perfect by Evangeline Anderson and this is an erotic short story I give it four stars I give it five humongous steam fans oh my goodness and I listened to this on the podcast of read me romance read read me romance and this story follows Melanie and Kurt who are related but not related by blood and Melanie is a model and she gets a job where she has Kurt to come along with her because he doesn't feel that she is safe in this location and come to find out the male model for the shoot was called off so Kurt ends up standing in as the male model and let's just say that the photography shoot the subject of the book of them modeling was very 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 steamy mm. and every single episode of read me romance last week left you on a cliffhanger of a moment oh my goodness even though i listened to it all on friday all in one batch after everything had been released i was still still like what did Yes. So me. Completely me. I was just like, oh my goodness, I can't. Oh, wow. This book happens to be quite a bit longer than the normal Read Me Romance books as well, which I absolutely loved because you got so much information. It was just, it was, it was great. It was great. Oh my goodness. So yes, that was the first book. And then the next book that I finished was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I place this in the LGBT category for myself. I give this book three stars. I give it one steam fan. I listened to it on audiobook. It started off being for Romance Opoly a thon, but I didn't get it finished then. But uh, I did finish it now. <sighs> this book right here. It, for me, in my opinion, it is way overhyped than what it should be. But with the sort of topics that are covered in this book, I'm surprised that it doesn't make the hot list for not giving any trigger warnings um, because yeah there are trigger warnings in this book there are some topics or content warnings whatever you want to call them that are very graphic in nature and yes it's set in uh, you know the 1940s 50s 60s to today yeah I, w I wasn't feeling this book just I mean if you haven't figured it out I was not feeling this book I only gave it three stars so it was like eh for me I didn't like the character of Evelyn uh Monique who was supposed to be interviewing her I didn't get a feel for her she was like a throwaway character for me yes she did the interview and yes there is a tie there somewhere and I was just like uh, this is like my third or fourth Taylor Jenkins read book and I'm just I'm starting to think that maybe her writing style just is not for me. So then the final book that I finished reading last week was 
Fumbled Playbook Number 2 by Alexa Martin. I placed this in Contemporary. I gave it four stars. I gave it two Steam fans, and I read this as an ARC. It releases soon, if it hasn't already just released. But this book follows Poppy and TK, and I loved every single minute of it. Poppy is this strong single mom that had a relationship with TK back when they were in high school, and they both sort of went their separate ways over some lies that were told and I loved how it unfolded. TK is a football player and I love this new aspect that Alexa Martin took from her first book of Intercepted which was very much about the girlfriends and wives of football players and that whole arena. This one took a different look at the the other workings that go on in football and how you know you have your paternity issues you have the fact that you know players are getting injured and I liked how she went ahead and talked about some of that stuff there were times where I thought that it got a little bit repetitive and it seemed like she wanted to go a certain way with the plot and the characters and everything like that but then it just sort of fell off and I could also say that probably about the ending of it I was like wait it was gonna go this way but no and then, so there were some complete, some incomplete thoughts uh, within the book, so I couldn't give it a full five stars, but I did really enjoy it. I enjoyed this new aspect of it, and I enjoyed how strong and independent Poppy was in all of her decisions. I loved how swoony and beautiful uh, TK was described, which was another sort of down down star for me I guess you could say or downgrade for me was that it was continually described how everyone looked except for Poppy. Poppy wasn't she was described like once or twice in the book but she was not described constantly like TK and Ace were. It was always about their physical features and everything like that. You did get to know their characters so you love their characters as well but it was very heavy driven on their physical side but I still really really enjoyed the book and I can't wait for more Alexa Martin books to come out so that I can devour those as well. On to what I am currently reading. This list is pretty short as well but I am still reading Dragonfly in Amber by Diana Gabaldon. I'm listening to that on audiobook and I will be completing that this week back since I'm back to work and everything like that. I needed to take a break from that. That book is pretty heavy and it is time consuming and um very history driven so there's a lot of history information that's in there so I needed to like sort of cleanse my palate with uh, a different story and I'm listening to that for audiobookathon as well so make sure that you check out that Twitter link down in the description box because I do have it on there we are going into the second week of audiobookathon and one of the challenges is to read a book that is over 15 hours and this book definitely is over 15 hours it is 34 hours I believe uh, I quoted in the last time that I mentioned it I am also reading gluttony which is elite seven number five by Kay Webster and oh my goodness Wow so this book was actually moved up in the series. It was book number six now it is book number five and with the ending of envy you we're left with a bit of a cliffhanger to know what was actually going on and this book oh my goodness starts us off with a character that I have been dying to read about in the first place and uh Baxter who is aka God you kind of got a sense of him in some of the other books but then you you start to sort of feel for him in his book and I'm to the point where I'm like oh I I um God is just is is very very complex. His family, his I mean his sin name is gluttony. So you would think that it's all about the overabundance of things for him. And you know, you see that he has a struggle with food and it's just really kind of heartbreaking, but at the same time you're like, 
okay, what is he getting into? And you find out that what his task is very early in the story, in this story. Whereas all the other stories, they sort of got their task later on after you sort of knew the character. This one, you're like, okay, this is his task. Oh my goodness, he completed his task really that, that simple, that easy? But then there's complications with the task. And in walks uh, Zamira who is an African-American female, and I'm, like, so ecstatic because this is our first interracial couple in this series, and I'm loving it. It's set in New Orleans, so you just know that there's got to be some black people down there, right? Um, and this is our first one, and I'm super excited to dive even more into this. I'm about 10 to 15 percent into this book, and I can't wait to finish and see how it all plays out. I am so excited for it. So that is what I read last week, what I am currently reading. As I said, I am participating in Audio Bookathon, which the Twitter link is down in the description box. So if you guys want to join us for the second week of it, you can. <sighs> back to real life on Monday because I'm back to work and I might do a sort of 24 hour maybe 48 hour readathon at the end of the week because my boys are going to awesome con here in DC and we have family coming down and I should hopefully be able to be left alone because there's gonna be a whole bunch of kids up in my house for the weekend and Hopefully I can get some reading done. Maybe. Possibly. It starts Friday night. So we will see. But that's it. So let me know down in the comments, as I said. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, there is a feedback form down in the description box so you guys can help me improve my channel. Thank you for watching, and we will see you guys tomorrow.